How do you connect PTZ cameras to your microphones and audio interfaces? Or should I say, how do you connect your microphone and audio interfaces to your PTZ cameras? I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways that you can do it. And then I'm also gonna tell you why I don't recommend actually doing it. But because so many of you have asked how to do it, I'm gonna show you some of the simple ways of doing this. In order to make this demo simple, we're gonna be using the BZB Gear 20X NDI camera. Not only does this have an HDMI output and an SDI output, it actually has a USB output as well. Now, the reason you're watching this video is because of the line in port on the back of this camera. That's where we're gonna connect our audio source. In this case, we're gonna be using an audio mixer and I'm also gonna be using some wireless lapel microphones as well because both will work for this camera. Now keep in mind though, when you see line in, you really wanna think about a line level audio source. In order to obtain that, you need a traditional audio interface and audio mixer, which is why I'm gonna be demoing with the Rodecaster Pro 2 but you can also directly connect a lapel microphone like the Rode Wireless Go 2 to this particular camera and it works just fine. One 3.5 millimeter cable connecting the camera to the receiver of the microphone and we're gonna bring audio into OBS shortly. So let's first start off by connecting these. These are the Rode Wireless Go 2 wireless lapel system. Very similar system to what I'm wearing right now to record this actual video, which is a Godox system. And I'll put a link to this in the description as well. So what we're gonna do is use the included 3.5 millimeter cable, connect it to our receiver, and then also connect it to the back of our camera in the line in port. Now we have our audio going directly into our camera. Now it's time to actually connect the camera and get that set up. This is a PoE camera, which means it can power over an ethernet cable. So I have an ethernet cable connected to my PoE switch. I'm gonna simply connect that into the camera. Then I'm gonna grab my USB cable and connect my USB 3.0 port in the back and connect it to the USB port on my laptop. Now, as you can see with using this lapel system, that means only one person is talking. Now, if you have the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can mic up two people. So if you're using this in any other setting that requires more microphone inputs, like a choir singing, this setup is not ideal, which is why you'll wanna watch to the rest of this video as to why I don't prefer this setup. Now that everything's connected, we're gonna jump into OBS, which is our free live streaming platform. And I'm gonna create a brand new scene and I'll call this PTZ for our PTZ camera. And we'll add our source under video capture device. We'll select okay. And we'll navigate to HD camera, which is our PTZ camera right in front of me that is facing our confidence monitor. Now it's time to add our audio source. Now our audio is coming from the camera in this case. So we'll go into audio input capture create new, we'll use the default, and then we'll navigate to the correct device. And if I look at my audio mixer right now, I see my line level moving. Now what I'll do is I'll click on the three dots to the right of the slider and go into the property section. If you don't see that your microphone is selected, this is where you want to do that just to make sure that your microphone is connected and working. So my microphone is the microphone HD audio, I'll select okay. And if I hold up this microphone closer to my mouth, you see that the audio levels are increasing. And if I go ahead and turn off this microphone, just to prove that this is the microphone that it's coming through OBS and connected to the PTZ camera. And you see the audio meter is no longer moving. If I turn it back on, Now the microphone is on and we can see that our audio levels are coming through the camera. So I just showed you how to connect one microphone into your camera directly. But in most cases, a lot of us have more than one microphone, especially if we're doing a different environment than just one person talking to one camera. So now let's introduce the audio interface. Now the audio interface that I'm gonna be using for this example is the Rodecaster Pro 2. Now this particular audio interface is more so used for people like me that are creating content 
or podcasting. This can be used in other environments because it does have multiple channel inputs that you can use for both microphones and instruments. But for the sake of this demo, now we're gonna be taking a look at connecting an audio interface to your camera. We're gonna be using this cable. This is a dual quarter inch cable and it has a 3.5 millimeter connection on the other end. So what we're gonna do is connect both our quarter inch line cables into the back of our Rodecaster. And we're gonna connect the 3.5 millimeter into our line in. So now it's time to go back into our OBS platform. Now the microphone that I'm gonna be using to connect is my Shure SM7B, which is a wireless microphone that I absolutely love. And you all have probably used this, especially if you've ever spoken at a local church. So I'm gonna connect my microphone into port two. And I'm going to bring up my audio slider to make sure that my audio is coming through and I see that my microphone is on. My audio is showing that it's coming through on the line mixer, and we can see that it's showing in OBS right now as well. So if I go into the three dots of the audio mixer and go into properties, I can see again, the microphone selected is my PTZ camera because my audio is being routed to my PTZ camera. So just to prove that this is the actual connection, I'm gonna head and mute my microphone here on OBS. And as you can see, my audio is not coming through right now. And once I unmute it, then my audio levels come back and that just lets you know I am connected bringing in audio into OBS through the camera itself. So I just showed you two ways, connecting your microphone directly to your PTZ camera and also connecting your microphones to your audio mixer and then connecting your mixer to your PTZ camera and then connecting your PTZ camera into your live streaming system. In this case, we're connecting through one USB cable from our camera into our computer. But I wanna tell you why I don't like this setup and why I always run my audio and my video individually. Now let's let the realistic demonstration of this video continue. Let me first grab a tripod. Now in most cases, if you're using a PTZ camera, that means you're probably gonna be a little bit further away from your camera. Either your camera is gonna be mounted up somewhere or it will probably be ran at a longer distance away from you then you might want for a connection to your audio interface or your microphone. So we have our camera set up on our tripod and let's go back to that first connection type. Let's say we wanna use our lapel system. Now, if this tripod was actually up on a ceiling, I could not go and connect this on a regular basis. This is a lapel tripod that needs to be charged after every six hours of use. I would literally have to go and climb up, plug this in, connect it, let it just hang down because PTZ cameras don't have cages or mounting brackets and then use my microphone system. And then after I'm done, I've got to go all the way back, disconnect it, unplug it and do all of that. Like, I don't really want to do that. And in the scenario of using an audio mixer as well, I've got to run another cable over to my camera. And if you've already run cables for video connections, you don't want to have to go and now run another cable just for your audio when you can actually just send your audio directly into your live streaming system. So in this case, I could connect my audio directly to my computer. Why have to run it all the way to my camera and then run it all the way back through to my laptop? And for most of you watching this, you use a video switcher as well because you have multiple cameras. And then you really can get yourself in trouble because you've got to remember which microphone is connected to which camera and it just gets cumbersome. So what I like to do is run my video into my video switcher. In my case here, it's the ATEM Mini Extreme. All my cameras are connected through an HDMI cable directly to that switcher, which just controls video. Then I take my audio mixer and connect it to my ATEM MIDI as well, which just controls the audio side. From there, I take one cable out of the ATEM MINI Extreme and run it to my live streaming computer. This separates the video 
from the audio and on my interface, I have so much more control of knowing exactly what interface, which microphones, which controls I'm actually controlling. And it's one less thing that I have to worry about, especially when you have to begin troubleshooting. So I hope this video has answered the question as to how you connect your microphones to your PTZ cameras and why I don't do it.